Hello, David from the World Broadcasting Unions. Um, we began this, this, this week looking at the five and a half billion people who don't have access to internet and asking how we could move to a situation where a lot more of them do access it. And part of our hypothesis is that by providing them with the internet access, we can help them with their material well-being uh, and their, their life. Uh, I guess I just have a feeling in the back of my mind that things are not so simple as that. I think if you look what's happened in the last few months, you see how very important actually financial infrastructure is uh, in all societies in the West and the East. So I suspect that rather than having a circumstance whereby you bring internet and that helps, as it were, to add financial infrastructure, you might have to add the financial infrastructure first. So it may be that it's not a simple matter of just uh, talking about access. The, the real, uh, the overriding, the umbrella issue is how we can improve the financial infrastructure, the availability of credit and so on. This is something which uh, is done in India, but in many other parts of the developing world, not so. So uh, I just have a hypothesis, uh, Jonathan, that we shouldn't forget that actually financial infrastructure, credit arrangements and so on are absolutely fundamental uh, to all societies and without them it may not be possible to bring uh, internet to those next five and a half billion people. David, thank you very much indeed. I have to say I'm an economist by training and uh, yes. I, come, I come from that yeah. background yeah. and quite, I think quite that's, that's a big quick issue. Quick intervention. You must have an economics expert as your prime minister and the problem will be solved. <laughs> if only it was that simple. <laughs> All right. um, yes, gentlemen there, let's get you a microphone. Hi. Thank you. Uh, Peter Hammonds from Nokia Siemens Networks. And I just wanted to comment on a gentleman who just said um, financial system is very important. It's true. Um, financial system is important, but in many parts of the developing world, it's clearly non-existent. Or it may exist in the capital city and not much farther. And I think what um, ICTs can do, um, and, uh, and the mobile world, which is quite strongly proliferating, even in areas where you don't have a functioning financial system, is allowing micro-payment transactions, what we call M-banking. And I think you need to look at that as well, as a future way of implementing a financial system in the absence of a banking system. Okay, so that's um, my contribution. Thanks. Thanks.